tiny city car, the Toyota IQ is the Japanese answer to the smart. Thanks to the credit crunch, gas prices and eco-awareness, these little runabouts are in. The entire market segment recorded a growth of 18% in Germany. After Toyota's most recent market incursions, their hopes are resting most of all on the tiny IQ, available from the start of this year. Toyota compares the potential of its Super Mini to that of cult cars like the Mini, Fiat 500 and the Smart. It has taken Toyota 10 years to pick up Smart's idea of offering individual mobility with the smallest possible body. The IQ is 30 centimeters longer than the Smart but remains just under 3 meters long. The front looks fierce, but nonetheless very cool. At 1.7 meters, it is also 14 centimeters wider than the Smart and has 4 centimeters less height than its German competitor. Its shape is characterized by a high belt line, long doors and windows like arrow embrasures. The 16-inch wheels demonstrate its self-confident air. The design is surprisingly stylish for a Japanese car. Inside, the level of comfort and equipment for a car of this size is striking. With a leather steering wheel, multifunctional display, a manually controlled air conditioning system, as well as CD player and MP3 radio. In addition, there really is a second row of seats. To call the car a four-seater would be a gross exaggeration, though. An adult can just about wedge themselves in the back on the passenger side if the front passenger pulls their seat all the way forward, but rear passengers make driving difficult. I can't reach the gas and brake pedals at all anymore. Driving's impossible. The seat behind the driver's side is only suitable for dogs and the smallest of children. A third person can just fit in behind the passenger seat. Having passengers in the back leaves luggage space of around the depth of a laptop or 32 liters. Real boot space is only available when the back seat is folded down, in which case the capacity is 238 liters. With the IQ, it's a choice between passengers and luggage. A further difference from the Smart, the engine and drivetrain are accommodated at the front. The entry level is a one-liter three-cylinder engine with 68 horsepower, which according to EU standards consumes 4.3 liters. On initial test drives, the four-cylinder with manual transmission used an average of 5.3 liters. With the powerful 1.4-liter .4 four-cylinder diesel engine at 90 horsepower, the IQ runs out of puff at around 170 kilometers per hour. The engineers situated the new 32-liter flat fuel tank under the driving seat, thereby reducing the length of the car. With a standard consumption of four liters, however, it's not really worth the 2,200 euro supplement. You won't spend that much on fuel during the car's entire lifetime. The price is definitely the IQ's Achilles heel. The entry model costs 12,700 euros, the diesel 14,900. By contrast, a Smart is almost a bargain at just under 10,000 euros. The IQ's biggest role model is at the same time its biggest rival, the Smart 4.2 from Mercedes-Benz. Its 5 centimeter longer wheelbase allows for faster speeds on the motorway. Instead of 135 kilometers per hour, 145 to 150 are possible. That might not always be enough for the inside lane, but it is plenty for the middle one. Prices start at 9,450 euros and go up to at least 13,000. That's still cheaper than the Japanese IQ. Since the Smart now measures 2.7 meters, sideways parking in the city is no longer possible. But it's still small enough to always find a space. The driving performance is also okay. The 71 horsepower engine can go from 0 to 100 in 13.3 seconds. With a turning circle of only 8.75 meters, you feel unbelievably agile and maneuverable. The IQ is even more agile, having a turning circle of 7.8 meters, the smallest in its class. The chassis is also a surprise. The IQ is no lolloping dwarf. This is partly down to the newly constructed McPherson front axle, which provides understeer and stability through curves. The excellent calibration of the spring shocks also helps. And in city traffic, the compact construction is not only useful for finding parking places, In contrast to the Smart, the IQ has both front and rear disc brakes. The Smart has drum brakes at the back. The electronic stability program and traction control ensure a safe drive. 
Unconcerned with emissions, the Germans and Americans have long been drunk on performance and prestige. From 2012, however, EU regulations will require CO2 emissions to be no higher than 120 grams per kilometer. The Japanese are already there with the IQ, leaving the Europeans playing catch-up. The diesel IQ has CO2 emissions of only 104 grams per kilometer. Very environmentally friendly. In short, the IQ is a pleasant surprise. Inside, it offers what has always been missing from the smart, more usefulness for more than two people. With a high degree of comfort and its sovereign diesel, the IQ shows a maturity equal to the next class up. The Toyota is a credit to the car world, but at a hefty price. Just under 15,000 euros for the diesel will give the Europeans food for thought.